Red Deer is known for its trail system, but before taking your bike out for the first ride of the season, there are a few things to be aware of. There's a couple of different types of brakes. There's like uh, rim brakes and then there's kind of disc brakes, I guess. So this bike here has the disc brakes on it and it's actually got uh, hydraulic oil like a, like a motorbike would. So you just want to make sure it's, there's no kind of oil or any residue on those brake pads or even on the rotors itself just because it would uh, contaminate the brakes and then just not work as well. So same with the rim brakes, just free of dirt and debris, that kind of thing. So just a physical look can, can easily tell for sure if there's anything on them. On the hydraulic brakes, it's probably a little bit more finicky just because of the, the, it's actually a sealed system, so you need to have a bleed kit, it's called. The regular other brake styles is pretty, is pretty easy to do. It's just more about alignment in the wheel, just making sure the wheel is kind of centered, and then the same thing, just making sure the brake pads are centered and, and tightening it up. Wheels definitely, uh, just to make sure that they're that proper air pressure, you definitely want to, uh, it has a minimum and maximum pressure on the side of the wheel, so you want to make sure, that, especially before a ride, because uh, a, a tire can just sit over time and lose pressure pretty easily. Just that's a natural thing that happens. So before the ride, you always just want to make sure they're 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 pretty tight and snug. That that way, it's it's good to go for the ride because that'll help you with uh, not getting flats when you're out on the road. Rims, I think, are pretty like they'll be pretty standard. Sometimes if you hit a big curb or something like that, you can actually warp the wheels. So just uh, giving it a spin, it will spin pretty freely in there. If it's got a bit of a wobble, a little bit of a wobble, we can actually fix that and, and true it, it's called. So just that kind of simple maintenance as well. Just making sure it spins freely. That will in turn check the hubs as well that make sure that the bearings on the inside spin nice and easy. Drivetrain's a little bit different just because there's so many different kinds uh, of drivetrains, but you, you definitely still want to have it clean. And, and the proper key, I guess, would be the chain, chain lube or chain oil, which is in the back corner there. You definitely want to have just the right amount of uh, chain lube, not too much, because if there's too much chain lube, it'll actually attract more dirt. So you definitely, uh, depends on the type of lube, you'd use it once a week, or if it's a wet conditions, you can use it more often. But just having it clean and then making sure it's, it's well lubed, that, that just makes it last longer for sure and run smooth. For Go Central, I'm Kyle Plansky.